What's up tubers? It's James here and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, we just had a conversation with uh, Rost. Uh, I do apologize for not being able to record that, but it was just a simple I love you oh, and everything. No, I'm not trying to bag the game out, I love it. But um, yes, we're about to do the proving or go to the ceremony for the proving. And um, a whole lot of stories about to come, so let's get it on and let's go do it. We're about to be accepted into Mother's Heart. What's up, what's up, what's up? You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She <laughs> is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Ah, uh, Tirsa seems like the sure awesome nun you want. You're Tirsa? <laughs> like, she won't tell you everything, but she'll go that and get drunk with you. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <sighs> Try telling him that. <laughs> we will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? She's like, happy, 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 happy. Okay, who's our friend? Holy shit, look at this party. Oh, this is so awesome and fun. Good little child. Just found a fire, so hold on. Uh, save there. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? Everybody. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proven. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. I appreciate that, man. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Such a nice dude, man. Yep, awesome. Um, I'll take the free sample box and uh, I won't sell him anything, but yeah. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Tab. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes flying, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case... Be ready to duck. Awesome. Oh my God. Just the 
detail on this game is amazing. And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. I'll give you my best prices, I promise. Yeah, I bet you will. Uh... Sacrifice just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karchi. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest needs to read is an apology, straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th Lord of the Arabian Rhine. He's wearing a focus, just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll 
I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug oh, it up. Oh, yeah, that Jesus. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. <laughs> I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now, let me introduce you. Ring locked. Impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. They might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Oh my. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'd be a whole new life. If you want it, I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Now maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? <laughs> And uh, where we go? Oh, uh, no. The cards in the combination. Move, people. I won't do that in the chance. Did you see those? Just the book before I start. Let's start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. I do it for Rust. In honor of Rust. And all he did to help me get here. Oh, Mother, hear our prayer. God damn, that's beautiful. Why is the child that's, that's, by the mother's oh, hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, Passes the chain of love. <laughs> the Karja Temple and Little Sister in the world. I have some questions. I'm sure we Where's Owen? Owen, 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 there he is. Looks like a stroll. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn it. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin north of the claim. 
That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. Except Ray. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you, it malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Uh, never happened to me. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a oh, curse, I'm going to agree. Um... I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <laughs> That's a little threatening. Uh, I'm gonna talk to Aaron again. That blessing wasn't bad. Nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. Oops. And I hope I'm not throwing a wet blanket on your sick ritual. It was nice. Really. Hey, you never said what you thought of my performance with the priest and the fruit. Guess I failed to make an impression. <laughs> I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I... have Heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel. I love how Aaron's trying to be so but even suave and you know, the derangement of romantic the way right? every time he puts his foot in his mouth, get like gotcha. every year. Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the sun god, it would calm the machines. It didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, Entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Bloody yeah. hell. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. 
And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Uh, not really. Yeah, well, good luck in that proving thing. Uh, maybe I'll see you in Meridian someday. Who knows? Aloy, now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you, given your circumstances. I can't say it was comfortable, but I could see the beauty of the ritual, even so. It takes a generous heart, Aloy, to commend a ritual that venerates all that you were denied. All I'm saying is that it didn't bother me. I have bigger things to worry about than hearing the Nora mumble about their mothers. I see. I imagine you must have questions for me then. Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us, if only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? It's just I'm so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here yeah. is to get answers, real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy. But Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? Uh... It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the proofing. It's not like the Nora to be so... hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right, as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think, rather, it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13, who killed his mother. But at the proving five years later, he did not appear. No, I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy. But the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Whatever. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. Uh, that's it. I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just, I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. And uh, come
Well, well, look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Boss can be a bastard. Where's ah? You even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. <laughs> you know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Can this guy, like, sleep? Because he's freaking me out. So, your first day in Mother's Heart, what do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions, that's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. There we go. Now it's time for the proving. Are we gonna prove ourselves all right?
Your trophy is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. that jump. Whoops! Made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Never. 
but she is a brave now. Hell yeah! <laughs> as I go, so long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy, once outcast and now brave, who is first among you. Ah, oh, shit.
motherfuckers. Such a fucking mess. Uh... 
Oh my god, that's just so fucking brutal.
back. And then again. Hold before I attempt to scan. You need to stop listening to Ted and start listening to me. Where's this from? Holy shit, look at that. see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. What? What are you talking about? Come. massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, my plans for a fear that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. Mother?
I love the emotion that it gives. It's like, holy fuck. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption. The goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Omen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. I love how she's just breaking all the rules because. Yeah, you said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. Bloody hell. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister and matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy, as though she would not want us to help ourselves. Exactly. And what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. <laughs> oh, love it. How fucking the love it. My matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. Well, I mean, you can hurry up and walk fast, huh? It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy, told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker, sister. For once, Lanzra. Join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the one goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. Can now stay you from your sacred task. May your mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our homes lie with you. No pressure. your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker, a worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose, no matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. Oh yeah. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killer. <coughs> yes. 
but it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. Um... Have there been other seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Ross a seeker? No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. Uh, Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder Old Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. And yes, I'm on my way. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Where's the fireplace? I need to say. We will uh, soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. These will keep. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Damn, straight out. Y'all gonna love me. but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing the tunic I stitched for you. I'm honored. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. <sighs> You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. 
Why wouldn't Rush help me? Well, he says mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart. A tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in approving, but she died. So that really good was good characters died then? Yes, she was. I liked her. So did I. Uh, What's the danger in the embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them, but the killers slaughtered them. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them, make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines, they're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear, it's even worse outside the embrace. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. Shut up, Ted. I should be on my way, Ted. Be safe, England. I'm just looting all the things around, so. Children's voices raised in this hymn. Ignore her. Hear our prayer. I'd have to ditch something. There are rumors of a demon loose in the embrace. A, a thing of dark metal that corrupts. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. If you think Tirsa and Jez are traitors, why don't you head up the mountain and say that to their faces? Or do you only talk big when your superiors aren't around? I am the Nora War Chief. And I am a seeker, so do as you're told and open the gate. The sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? So I was just standing both of their faces. Oh no. Oh no. Something big.
Oh, yeah. How'd you do it? Show me. You made them obey you. How? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. That's worth a shot. A couple loops of wire. How did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But... Give it in your hands, Sam. Blessing from all mother. No matter what rest says. <sighs> Thank you, Tub. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Braves! I want that gate repaired immediately. I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done. Like a no legs, come on. I'm done speaking with you, outcast. Well, I've got to fight something.
Do you need help? You are the one who survived the proving. Yes, I do need help. Ten years ago, my brother was cast out. His sentence ended, but he didn't come back. His camp was empty and covered in blood. Why was your brother cast out? Rome was always a little different, a little touched. One of the hunters had a cruel heart and never let him alone. I was gone but an hour. The hunter said after him like always, but this time, Rom struck back with a rock and split the man's skull. Spirits made him do it, he said. Nah, no, this is the good lesson, you know. If you push too hard, then he'll fight years. back. I never should have left him alone. You, um, you said your brother's camp was soaked with blood? The Braves went looking for him, and that's what they found. All I can think about is what might have happened. Is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Or does he need help? I can't stand it not knowing. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. If that is how it must be, just find him then. Please. Enough. This must be Rob's camera. Better clear out 
those watchers. Looks like a few drops of blood ran away from the camp. Someone bring the blood to the camp? The trail of blood ends here. But whoever left it must have also left tracks.
again.
I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Prom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? Yeah. So many voices to listen to. It must make your head hurt. I promise my voice will be soft and soothing. A soft voice, like Alara's. It's been so long. Years. Yes. Yes, I... I will listen. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things. Hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I... I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Always with me. They take care of me. Keep me company. Help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom. You're alive. What the fuck did you thought? Oh, mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No, 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 no. Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Rom. How can you be certain? The voices he hears call for blood, even yours. But surely he wouldn't hurt his own sister. I've taken care of him since I was six. I, I don't want to hurt you. But the Forgotten, they're, they're whispers, they, they fill my head with screams. Brahm isn't ready to return to the Nora, but I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay, a cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brahm. I'll help you. Thank you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in all mother's eternal memory. And may the forgotten leave you be. Thank you very much. I'm glad I can help. Um. Where's the fire? This is, oh, this is a, like I said, this is a big game, and I want to enjoy all of it and everything, and yeah, just, oh, holy crap, um, yeah, so like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and more videos will be to come of this series, and m many more as well, and for everyone else's amusement, sorry, amusement, so will Goat Simulator, uh, God, but yes, 
and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>